Hi, this is Hussein, and I am making a tutorial on how to give Pokemon, not items, Pokemon. Let's just get straight into this org script. Now, let's see. Lock face player, and a message just to be nice to the player. Blob. Blob1 equals here's a Pokemon. Box set 6. And now here comes the new function. It's, you know, pretty straightforward if you think about it. And it's just give Pokemon. Now this is the bit where you really need to, whoops, sorry. This is the bit where you really need to listen. Because there are these three parts are quite important now. This first one determines what Pokemon you actually give. And if you go on my website, advancedfreak.webs.com, and you become a member for free, and you go on the links page, you can download this notepad, which has all of the Pokemon codes on there. Um, only, only for games that are on GBA. Don't expect any diamond or pearl or black or white one to come out. I mean... If you want to do that, you're going to have to do some crazy sprite editing and stuff. And I'm not really into that stuff yet. So, but when I when I am, I'll I'll show you I'll show you everything. So let's just start off with something simple like Pidgeotto. So that's 17, and we get rid of the O X O O. Well, the O X more importantly because this is not binary. This is number. So we have to keep it as a number, not binary. Now the second bit determines what level they are. So let's just say that we want them to be level 10. So we do 10. And we get rid of the OX for this one as well because that's also a number and not binary. This last one though is for what item the Pokemon is holding. And if you go on the give items notepad, which is also on my website, then you can find a loads of items on here and this is pretty much everything i mean there's tms in here and hms and the whole lot even oaks parcels in here as well which is pretty cool if you want to remake it or use it again so where was i oh yes let's just say we'll give him a rare candy to hold and we keep the ox because this is binary now so we leave it so recap no ox no ox then we have the OX. Quickly end the script. And we're sorted now. We just save this and test it. Script.rbc. Save. Whoops, wrong one. Compile. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing or you're getting confused and you don't even know why all these squiggly lines and why I'm going into ROMs and all this stuff, and you don't know what these numbers mean, and you basically don't have a clue about scripting, then you shouldn't be watching this right now. What you should be watching is Power Lump's first script tutorial video, because that is very detailed, and it teaches you everything. So, I've pasted it in, and I have loaded it up. Now, get out of my way, please. Anyway. Let's see, here she is. Here's a Pokemon. Now, just before we just before we carry on, I just want to say I've already have a Gengar in my party. It's from a different script. Oops, press start again. From a different script. So there we go. Pidgeotto has also joined the party. And if we check our item, the rare candy. And it's also holding a rare candy. It's level 10. That's pretty much as good as you can get, isn't it? And she has given us a Pokemon. We talk to her again. She, in fact, is so kind. She gives us another one. And that one's also holding a rare candy. Now, if you want to stop that from happening, you're going to have to go into putting flags into your script. And I will go through that maybe in another tutorial. And I'll group that all together. So, um, you know... Good luck, happy scripting, be sure to visit my website and, you know, 